But how does the app actually replicate the procedures that surgeons are, mm-hmm. are carrying out? So when we started this, we took a, a long look at kind of the elements of surgical skill, you know, what makes a really good surgeon. Now, everyone knows that a surgeon needs good hands, that's obvious. But not many people think about the, the brain of a surgeon or the cognitive abilities of a surgeon. And if you look through kind of all the academic literature around surgical skill, you'll find that actually about 75% of a safe operation is down to a surgeon's brain rather than his hands. But at the same time, there's no real formalized method of teaching surgical decision making or surgical surgical cognitive skills. Mm. So that's the bit that we look at. So we go and work with expert surgeons in their fields. Uh, We have in-depth interviews with them, we video them operating and we really try and understand exactly everything that they are going through, all of their cognitive decisions that they make during the operation. Um, and then we convert that into, you know, through an algorithm that we use called cognitive task analysis, um, combine that with our virtual human patient um, and allow you to replicate that decision making process. Um, I guess in a way it's like, a, we, we often use the analogy of Formula One racing, right? So you know, you've got Lewis Hamilton in his car and you know, yes, you need to know how to turn the wheel left and right yeah. and use your pedals. But you know, the night before he's going for a race, He's practicing in his mind, you know, turn one is what, turn two is right, turn three is left, then left again, and then you have to slow down here. And it's that cognitive rehearsal and cognitive element to physical performance um, that I think we, we really target.